Welcome lads, today we're going to be exploring Doc Mitchell's house. Yes, the house that you begin the game in because there's a few things that even veterans may have missed. Located in Good Springs and obviously the first place you will come across. It's got a state of Nevada flag, it's actually the only flag in the entire game of this kind. So that's pretty, shows you how real pre-war this man is. Straight into his house, we're going to go off to the right. Now, there is obviously the the Vigor tester, but opposite it is a chemistry set. Now, if you start with 25 cents, you can immediately make either five stim packs or a selection of drugs, buff out mentats and that. Over to the right here, you'll find a broken 9mm. Now, if you started with 25 repair or higher, you can repair it, giving you an early boost to the game with a wee 9mm. Everything in his house is marked as not owned, so you can take everything. So there's a wee doctor's bag here, uh, various other equipment. I would just take everything, absolutely everything. There's also a gun case with a early laser pistol for you with some energy cells to get you started. Lots of stim packs, radix, just lots and lots of stuff that you should be taking full advantage of when the game begins. Now, Doc Mitchell as well, you can come back to because he acts as not only a merchant for medical supplies, but someone, just a, a doctor, he can heal your radiation, heal your wounds and whatnot. Now, if you do run Good Springs Run and the Powder Ganger's in control of the town, obviously Doc Mitchell will not be here. Instead, it will be Joe Cobb. Now, he's got foot lockers here. Just take everything. <laughs> it's terrible to say, but I often, in my playthroughs, I rob the man at the start because there's, there's, there's first aid boxes, there's ammo, there's food, there's just everything, and you can take it consequence free. No karma, no nothing. There's a refrigerator, just, ah, it is brilliant. Or a wee bit of a Braxo, a plunger, plunger, how much is one? It's one value, happy days. Take that to the general store and uh, sell it to him. Heck, I, I think you can even sell them to him. And in here, you know, well, casual Doc Mitchell with his carton of cigarettes and several packets. Things you love to see. Now, you can't sleep in the beds. They are owned. And the reason you can take everything in here, even though it makes sense that you shouldn't be able to rob the Doc, it's to stop, like, hostilities. Because if you steal something in front of him and he gets hostile towards you, that wouldn't have been very player-friendly, you see. Is that a wee hat on the thing? Oh, a wee pre-war hat. Okay, it isn't worth much, but if you want some outfit, it's not, not the worst thing in the world. Exit and out. Obviously, you've got the Prospector Saloon and the general store that you can go to sell everything. You can see the cemetery from up there. Uh, various houses you can enter. Uh, the other important thing is the schoolhouse and the Good Springs water source way over yonder. Now... Thing being, lads, if you want information on any of the locations within Good Springs, I have a video on all of them that I just mentioned. So, yes. Thank you for watching, as always, lads. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.